Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Whoo! Happy Wednesday. Feliz miércoles in my world. Happy whenever it is you'll see this in your world. Okay, I'm bright and early up this morning. Um, never mind my eyes. Have a moment. <laughs> so listen, y'all. I want to shout out my wonderful coach, Dr. Emily McKnight, because she's amazing. Mm -hmm. And she always will be giving me great advice. And what advice was that you say that you ask? Before I get into that, hey, y'all, I'm so sorry. Thank y'all so much for coming back to see you, girl. <laughs> see how I was trying to jump right on into this? If you know me, if you know this face, if you recognize me, thank you so much for coming back to see me. I appreciate you all the things for coming up to show up to your girl's channel like this. If you do not recognize this face, my bad, I just jumped in your face like that. <laughs> my name is Latrice. Nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice. Yes, where faith is the muscle we exercise around here. Now, let's get on into it, y'all. No dilly dallying. Like I was saying, Dr. M just gives wonderful advice. And her advice to me was to just dive right on into the Bible. Hmm? To run to God, pretty much, right? Because I'm listening to these sermons or trying to listen to these sermons. I'm listening to this worship music when I can. Um, I'm keeping a stack with y'all when I feel up for it. Because your girl ain't felt up for a lot of things these days, huh? Um, and, you know, these devotionals and such and such and such and things. But like I was saying in my last video, that's like third-party stuff, right? And so she was like, look, just get to it. Get up in there. All up in there, huh? On my face. So last night, I said, let's... I." Remember when we said, remember in that video we was talking about nowhere to go in the Bible? Because let's just not just like... Um, so I went to the interweb. Mm -hmm. Escuchame, just follow me real fast. So I went to the interweb, right? I got stuff all over the place. And I looked up scriptures for disappointment. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So I was looking, I saw the little list, like, just real quick. And I was like, let me not go to stuff I already recognize. Let me not do the Romans 8.28 and the Philippians 4.6 type vibe, right? And then I saw Psalm 34. I think it was like 16 or whatever. I was like, oh, Psalm th let's try Psalm 34. So I go in there, right? And I do recognize because, <clears throat> as you can see, all the line highlighted situations. Boom. So this is clearly one of my favorite books. I said, oh, let's see what she's talking about again. Let me see. What's up? So uh, verse 17. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. Okay, verse 18. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. And finally, verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. I said, well, ain't we on time tonight? Hmm? Last night when I was reading this. I said, ain't we on time? I ain't really got no notes, y'all, but basically here's more of the story. I looked up some stuff that i need it right because i'm like god if we're gonna get through this situation we're gonna get through the season i'm gonna have to be honest your girl <laughs> gonna have to you know strap up the boots and go ahead and be honest with um with god because i'm like i'm disappointed these days um my emotions is all over the place and for a person like me i was recently talking to somebody on a call right i had a call with someone and she was telling me some things she was going through. And she was like, she was shocked to herself because she didn't really tell people. She didn't tell anyone really besides one person. And that was recently about her struggle, about what she was going through. Right. And she was like me. I'm just people would never believe that I'm going through this. She was basically saying, I barely believe I'm going through this. Right. I'm not the type to get stuck in something like this. I'm not the type to struggle with something like this. And that I told her, I said, girl. When I tell you, I know what you mean. Right. A lot of us out here is just like me. I'm going through this. I, what? I'm the one with my emotions bouncing from wall to wall, left to right, down the block, up the street. Huh? I'm the one who can't be like, I'm disappointed right now. I'm disappointed in God. I'm over here. I'm just feeling like what's going on right now? Me. Right? For someone who feels like they have it together. For someone who feels like me and God, we here, we linked. We, you know, boom. For someone who other people look at or look to for encouragement for smiles, for joy, for life, for all of the things, right? Who be ran dry most times, right? And then it's like, no. Just like God says, come on, Jesus. Just like God says he is no respecter of persons, he don't pick favors like that. It's not just like you're so special that I'm going to only bless you or the Bible says that the, what did it say? Um, I'm paraphrasing. But basically that the the rain falls on the just and the unjust. Both of us, all of us, huh? Anybody could get it. Pretty much. Life is going to be lifing to everyone. 
Life is also no respecter of persons. Huh? That's not in the Bible. God says he's no respecter of persons. But I want to throw my three cents in there and say life is no respecter of persons. Everybody can get this. <laughs> so, moral of the story, though, let's revert back to what the Bible said. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. We all going to get it. Afflictions, hurt, pain, troubles, trials, all the things. But guess what? But the Lord delivers him out of them all. We coming out. This too. El tema de hoy. Thank you for the person who commented and corrected my grammar in Spanish. Because what? El tema de hoy. This too. This too. That's it. Fill in the blank. So many ways. Si nadie te ha dicho hoy. <clears throat> if nobody has told you today. I love you. Duh. <clears throat> and I love me. Listen. Because life be lifing. But guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. Bye.